What's going on? It's Katie here with KT Visuals, and today we have the Blue Yeti mic, so we're gonna go over that. It's obviously gonna sound so much better than this quality now because my camera's so far from me, but this mic is super dope. I already opened it, I've been using it for some videos, so I reboxed it. It's not gonna look as pretty as it did when I first got it, but I want you to see what it's like out of the box. So it comes with everything you need. Mine weirdly did not come with a manual, but you don't really need it because I'm about to show you how to set it up real quick right now. So let me show you what this looks like in the box. We open it up. All right, first thing we got is your USB cord. That's the only cord you need for this, which is super awesome. Straight up plugs into your computer like done. Next, we're gonna pull off this stuff, the foam. And here's the mic. Comes in a nice little folded position. It'll fold right back up how you want it. So here's what it looks like out of the box. Looks super nice and clean. I went with the blue because blue Yeti. Just kidding. I went with the blue because uh, my phone's blue. I like blue and I thought that would match my office. Plus it's cheaper. It's like $20, $25 cheaper I think than the blackout version or the whiteout version. So I went with the blue here and on the front side you can see we have the volume level. We have a mute button which lights up when it's plugged into your computer. We have the gain level, and then we have this button right back here, which changes the direction your voice is going into the mic. So I'm gonna show you what my setup is and what I found to be the best based off of what I researched just real quick, and then we'll plug it in and we'll be good to go. So what I do is I don't really play with the volume. I just leave it at like a medium-ish area. I don't think it matters except for when the volume's coming out of the mic because you can do that as well, which is really cool. Uh, the mute button is right here. You only need that if you're like streaming or something I haven't found that I need it for my YouTube tutorials The other thing that's dope about this mic is that it has these little knobs over here So it'll stay in the position you want it in you can loosen it to bend it and then you can tighten it to hold it exactly where you want it So that's really cool But usually you'll just kind of keep it in a little bit of a bent position because when you talk to it You're gonna kind of talk to it from the side like this not directly overhead because no audio is gonna go through the top so the other thing you need to look at is the back. The gain level is the gain of what the noise around you is. So the higher it is, the more noise it's gonna pick up. So it's gonna pick up the cat scratching in the back, it's gonna pick up cars driving outside or wherever you are. So what I found to be the best level for the gain is to keep it almost at zero. So right now it's at zero and I'm just gonna move it up a little bit past zero so it just kind of picks up my voice but nothing around me, which is super awesome. It does a great job at that. The next thing you need to be aware of is the pattern you have it on. So I'm just gonna tell you what I do it at when I do tutorials or TikToks when I'm talking to the camera or when I'm on my desktop and I'm talking while showing a video or tutorial, whatever's going on. I like to have it on the setting that looks like an upside down heart. You wanna be talking to the mic kind of at an angle like this, and you're gonna be talking to it right here. You also don't wanna have it too close, otherwise it's gonna pop the volume and it's gonna be too loud. But if you kinda of keep it like maybe half a foot away, so like six inches, six to eight inches away, that's kind of the recommendation from what I found on YouTube, and it picks up your voice and your volume very well. All right, so now let's get this thing set up and show you what you came here for all along. So we're gonna take this USB plug that you got right here, and we're gonna plug it right into the bottom. All right, once you're good to go there, let me adjust this. We're gonna take the USB side. I'm gonna pull up the laptop here. Because my laptop doesn't have a USB, I have a, an adapter here. It's USB to USB-C. So we're just gonna plug it in here and then plug the adapter in. All right, now let's go to the computer and show you how this works. All right, so once you plug your Yeti mic in, the first thing we're gonna do is go down to system preferences and we're gonna click sound. And because I'm already using my Yeti mic, it's already set up for me, but you're just gonna go to input. You're gonna make sure instead of it being on internal microphone, you want it to be selected on Yeti microphone. And here you can change the levels. You can have it above or right in the middle. I kind of like to have it in the middle. This doesn't matter, it's for output. Your output can stay on internal speakers because if you switch it to Yeti, it just means the sound from your computer is gonna come out of the Yeti instead of your computer. So that's all you have to do to set up your Yeti microphone. I know a lot of people from older YouTube videos I watched said that they had to download a software or the software automatically downloaded when they plugged their mic in. I didn't have any software to deal with. I don't know if that's because I'm on a Mac or what, but once you select this, it stays selected so you can just screen record and get to your videos, do what you need to do. And if you ever wanna switch it back, just select internal microphone instead of the Yeti. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and it helped you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I always appreciate the support and I will be back next week with another video.